Fairly cold out there. We are in the teens in Pittsburgh at 18, Cranberry at 19, and in Newcastle right now, 9 degrees, single digits. We'll see these temperatures drop off just a few more degrees. They've dropped down this far already because we're under clear skies now, but here in the next couple of hours, we're going to have clouds that will move, move over us, and that will halt the drop of these temperatures. Butler right now at 12 degrees, and Franklin at 10. As we take a look at the high temperature from earlier today, 33 degrees, 11 below the average of 44. 21 was our low temperature, 26 the average, and our record low, one below zero, which was set back in 1980. As we head into tomorrow morning, low temperatures down in the mid teens in Pittsburgh. We could go down to the single digits north of Pittsburgh, and temperatures will be a key in what type of precipitation we see tomorrow. With the cold temperatures in the morning, we start with snow, but then as those temperatures rise and we have warm air aloft moving over that cold air, that will give us the potential for freezing rain, and then eventually it changes over to all rain. As as we get into the warmer temperatures at 8 o'clock on Tuesday, you can see we'll be in the 40s in Pittsburgh, into the 50s in Morgantown. So, some very warm air that will move in with this warm front, but you can also see the uh, snow potential for freezing rain and the rain that will be moving in. This is Tuesday at 4 o'clock. We take it to 4 o'clock in the morning and late tomorrow through Wednesday morning, we're going to have a lot of rain, some pockets of heavy rain that will be moving in, riding right along this cold front. And then we go late on Wednesday, and that's when we'll have snow that will move back in to the area. So, wintry mix, we go to rain, and then we go back to snow. So, we start it tomorrow morning with that snow that'll move in. Not expecting much in the way of accumulation with that, but this is what we're concerned about the potential for freezing rain, really from Pittsburgh to the north and east, and then rain moving in later in the day. And still, we're dealing with this ice. Potential, especially east and northeast of Pittsburgh. This is four o'clock on Tuesday, and this is where we could see that significant icing on the roadways. If you're heading east tomorrow, especially late in the day, you're definitely going to want to check the roads because it could be very treacherous traveling to the east uh, into Pennsylvania. Rain will overspread the area as we go over Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and continue until the snow arrives later in the day on Wednesday. 5 o'clock on Wednesday, and then we take it later into the nighttime hours, and you can see how it will go to all snow late on Wednesday. Now, as far as how much rain we'll see, really we're looking in most locations anywhere between three quarters of an inch up to even an inch and three quarters in some locations. So we could see a lot of rain because of that, and with the warm temperatures, the potential for melting ice. We do have a flood watch that is in effect from Butler County down to the south. That's from tomorrow evening through Wednesday evening. As far as the Ohio River at Pittsburgh, the Mon Wharf, we will have a chance of seeing water uh, at the Amon Wharf on Thursday as we will see the rivers and streams that will be rising. As far as snow, that initial snow that moves through before the rain, not expecting much in the way of accumulation, but once we get through the rain and on Wednesday we have the snow that returns to the area, we will have a chance of seeing potentially one to three inches of snow around the region, maybe even four inches in some locations. 15 degrees tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy. We'll have that mid morning snow or freezing rain. That will change to all rain later in the day as temperatures rise well above the freezing mark into the 40s. And then once we do that, we'll see the temperatures drop right back down again as a cold front moves through. On Wednesday morning, we'll start in the 30s. In the afternoon on Wednesday, we're into the 20s, and we're down to 12 degrees by the time we get to Thursday morning. We will have a chance for some morning snow showers on Thursday morning, a high of 20 degrees. Some sunshine on Friday with partly cloudy skies, but it will be on the cool side, and we take our temperatures this weekend to 40 degrees.